Hey everybody, this is John Coven, Crusading Knight, and I'm going to answer the obvious question right away. Why aren't you seeing my face? No, it's not that I don't know how to composition my shots, it's I wear this thing in most of my reviews. To continue in that spirit, this is how I'm going to attempt to do a vlog. I don't know how successful this is going to be. Let me know what you think, I'll take that into consideration for the future. But for this video, I definitely wanted to get in front of the camera because there's something happening which is really important both to you and to me. For those of you that don't know, which should be none of you if you clicked on this video, Zack Snyder at a recent Comic Con announced that for the Man of Steel sequel, we'll be getting Batman and Superman in the same movie. Now this news fills me with great excitement and a surprising amount of dread and apprehension. See, here's the thing. I've been waiting for this movie my whole life. I thought for years it would never happen. It's a dream come true. That said, there's great potential for them to fail with something this big, with so many expectations put behind it. For both Batman and Superman fans, I think that they feel that it's just too early to do this. For Batman fans, it's like, you need to reboot Batman, you haven't done that yet, who's going to play Batman? Some people think that, oh, well, maybe we'll bring back Christian Bale if you throw enough money to him, or Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Here's the thing. The Nolan Batman universe was too realistic to give Bane venom. Do you think a universe like that has room for a guy like Superman? It doesn't. So they have to reboot Batman. Does that mean we need a new movie for Batman? No. Because then, you'd just be getting another Batman movie for the sole purpose of rebooting the franchise for the Justice League movie. And I think that even Batman fans wouldn't like that. When I say that this is too soon, I mean for Superman Man of Steel. We finally got a really good Superman movie. And it was set up very well for a sequel. You had Lex Luthor in there. Well, you you had the LexCorp symbols, and those were placed so specifically that you knew that Lex Luthor was going to come in the next movie. It was like big time foreshadowing. I didn't even notice the Wayne Enterprises logo on the satellite until the second viewing. That's only after someone told me about it. But the LexCorp symbols are right there. So you know when you see this movie, Lex Luthor is going to come in next movie, probably run for president and say, we've got this alien that came down from another planet, brought all these enemies with him, and practically wrecked the city trying to deal with them. We don't need this guy. And Superman might face some ostracism, which might be an interesting plot line to go through, a very interesting one, especially since Jor-El told him in the last movie that he would be a symbol for hope. He would get the people behind him. And for him to fail at that would be an excellent conflict. But we're not going to get that now. We're going to get Batman in this story, and we know that Batman is going to upstage Superman, without a doubt. Batman is more popular currently, so I can't help feel that in this movie, they're just going to take a kryptonite broomstick and shove it up Superman's red ass. It's just, and if you think that I'm jumping to conclusions, I'm not. Take a look at the way that this movie was introduced. They had, what's his face from Man of Steel, the general from Man, Man of Steel, not General Zod, but the actual American general. He read a line from Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns. For those of you that don't know that story, first of all, start running now because there's a lot of people that are going to chase you with throwing rocks and stuff at you for not knowing what the heck the Dark Knight Returns is. It's probably one of, if not the, well, okay, I don't think people would argue that it's the greatest Batman story, but it's definitely up there. And in that story, Superman is portrayed as this villainous, like kind of a complicated villain who always answers authority, and no matter what the authority tells him to do, he goes and does it without question. And that's really not who Superman is. So, The Dark Knight Returns, where Batman beats Superman, great, great story for Batman, lousy, lousy story for Superman. And 
the line that was said, you know it's going to be in this movie, where the where the uh, where Batman. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just going to paraphrase this line. Batman says to Superman, "I want you to remember, Clark, in all the years to come, in all your private moments, I want you to remember my hand around your throat. I want you to remember the one man who beat you." So that's what this movie is going to be about. It's going to be about Batman beating Superman. So we're not getting a Man of Steel 2. We're getting a Dark Knight Returns in live action format. Even though we already had an awesome direct-to-DVD movie, The Dark Knight Returns. With Batman being voiced by the Robocop himself. That wasn't enough. They gotta do it in live action format. <sighs> okay, maybe you think that I'm being a whiny little fanboy who's upset that Batman is going to beat Superman. That's not just my beef. My major beef is actually with the Batman fans, and I'm not calling all of you out. I know there's some Batman fans that like Superman but prefer Batman, just prefer that darker or more realistic superhero to Superman. But why do so many Batman fans hate Superman? To the point where that's like their number one thing they want to see, is Batman beat Superman. Like, without even a thought, you hear, oh, Superman and Batman are going to be in the same movie. Most Batman fans go, are they going to fight? Probably some Superman fans too. It's, but for me, as a Superman fan more than a Batman fan, I hear that there's going to be a Superman-Batman movie. My first thought is not, oh, I hope they fight. My first thought is, I hope they conflict. I hope they have a lot of banter. But in the end, I hope that they become friends. And I hope that I see the Batwing and Superman flying side by side. Because that would be friggin' awesome. I don't think, oh, oh, let's see them fight. But for some reason... Batman fans hate Superman and want to see Batman just, like, beat the you-know-what out of him. Why, people? Like, is it about a human being beating up a godlike person? Is that is it, is it about humanism? If that's the case, why does it have to be Superman? There's a whole slew of villains in the rogues gallery for the DC Universe where you've got people that are godlike that Batman can fight. As a matter of fact, that's what happens in Superman Batman Apocalypse. Batman outsmarts Darkseid in an awesome moment. He also somehow survives a physical confrontation with Darkseid, which I call <coughs> bullshit. But I love the moment where he outsmarts Darkseid. That's what you can get. It doesn't have to be Superman, especially when you consider they're on the same team. And I know... There's all the rage about seeing two superheroes just go at it like we saw in the Avengers. And it was cool in the Avengers to see Thor fight the Hulk. To see Thor fight Iron Man and for a second Captain America. But you know what? In that movie, there really wasn't much of a resolution to those fights. Why? Because the Avengers is a story where there's a great threat that is so bad that these superheroes have to unite and work together to stop it. That should be what happens in a Superman-Batman movie. But if you have Batman beat Superman, that's kind of hard. You know, what's going to happen? You know, Superman's going to go, Okay, Batman, we got to work together. Batman be like, Why? I just beat you up. You're a guy with godlike powers. You're practically invincible and I beat you. What do I need you for? You got to kind of show at some point that these two need to work together. And I don't think that we're going to see that happen. I don't think that we're going to see a fight with no resolution. I think it's pretty clear Batman's going to win. Not because Batman would win in a real fight. Because in a real fight, I'm sorry, Bat fans, and go ahead and dislike the video and send me WTF comments and hate mail all you want. But nine times out of ten, realistically, Superman would beat Batman and send him flying like a bat out of hell. Nine times out of ten... Superman's going to win. The reason Batman's going to win in this movie is because Batman is the more popular character. And I'm tired of the emphasis on Batman, especially now that we're supposed to be getting a Superman story. 
Instead, they go, oh yeah, hey guys, guess what? There is going to be a Man of Steel 2, but really it's going to be The Dark Knight Returns. Stupid. I am not looking forward to this movie if that happens. I'll still see it. But I am not going to look forward to this movie if that's going to be the theme of it. And I would love for them to twist the story around, for them to kind of like do The Dark Knight Returns, but do it in a way that kind of twists it. I would even love to see Superman win a fight against Batman. Usually I don't like to see them fight, but I would love to see Superman beat Batman just to kind of hold that one over all the Batman fans who are always telling me about The Dark Knight Returns, even though that's an Elseworld non-canonical story. I would love to hold like Man of Steel 2 over them and say, like, look at this. I would love for there to be a twist in the line that was said at that Comic-Con. I would love for it to be Superman grabbing Batman by the throat and saying, I want you to remember, Bruce, in all your private moments, in all the years to come, I want you to remember my hand over your throat. And remember that I am the Superman that beat the Batman. <laughs> but that's not going to happen. You know, even actually, if I were going to do a Superman-Batman movie, the way I would do it if I was forced to have them fight, because I wouldn't have them fight in the first place. But if I was forced to make them fight, I would have Batman beat Superman the way he does in The Dark Knight Returns. Then, later on, I would have Superman beat Batman and beat him good, and have Superman say the line from Dark Knight Returns. That's not going to happen. Why? Because... There is not a single director out there, let alone for diehard Superman fans, there is not a single director who has the balls to take all the flack and all the hate mail from Batman fans. Because if Batman does not beat Superman in this movie, there's going to be complaints. And that's, again, why they're going to fight. It's because that's what people want to see. I think it's stupid to want to see them fight, but that's my opinion. Ugh. Dark Knight Returns is a really horrendous treatment of Superman, and Superman deserves better than that. He deserves his own movie series that can develop before seeing Superman and Batman team up. And I really hope that they find a way in this movie to give justice to both characters. And if this is supposed to be a Superman movie, let's see a Superman movie. So if Batman does beat Superman in the story, let, let it do something to his character. Let him grow or change for the better for it. Instead of just, you know, satisfying all the fan service of fans who want to see Batman beat Superman. <sighs> Sorry guys, but I gotta say what comes from the heart. You know that's the way I roll. You know that's what I gotta do. And if you're a Superman fan... Let's try to pass the message to all those involved that The Dark Knight Returns is not the way to go for this movie. I'm not just talking for the sake of this. I'm talking for the sake of this.